over the nation, many new church building projects commence every day. What are some of the motivating factors behind such projects? What is the pastor's role? What is the role of the congregation? To what extent do they get involved? Recently, I had the awesome privilege of speaking to Pastor Peter Bath, senior pastor of the Sligo Seventh-day Adventist Church, about their recent church remodeling project. Your church is presently pursuing a remodeling process. What is the motivation for this project? Well, this project started um, in concept probably, oh, 10 or 15 years ago. In fact, people who have been in the congregation will tell you it was even longer than that. Sligo was built in a way that resulted in the front of the church being very dark and somewhat obscured by a lack of lighting, and it was a very difficult space for music and for celebration to, to occur, although many great services happened. But what really motivated this was the culmination of a couple of things. One, the desire to bring in light. And we are a people of the light. Jesus is the light of the world. And an opportunity to bring in a, a natural illumination here and to create a space that was much more versatile than what had been established in the 1940s as really a very contemporary design. With the light coming in now, it's just great. You go to the front, it used to be very dark, and now we see the light coming in and gives a warm feeling for everybody else. I, I think it's a great, it was a great project. And after the renovation, you feel the, there's more light coming into the church and um, it's more unified and having the pews, you feel more that you're together and the people are sitting together and you feel a more closeness. And I just love the light that comes from the back. It has a gorgeous effect in the front and um, it has a brighter atmosphere and it's very nice. What's the role of the congregation in this process? Well, one thing that is really important for pastors to remember is that this is not your church. This is the people's church. They're going to be here long after you're gone. And it's important to help the people express their voice of what they would like. Now, that's oftentimes a challenge because there are different voices that are heard sometimes louder than others. And so making sure there's a fair and an open process for discussion about what will we be doing with the front of the church? What will the design look like? What will the seating look like? What will the air conditioning be like? Those are all matters that are good to talk about. And so our process was one where there was a committee and uh, encouraging them to survey the church. And, you know, there were some starts that were sometimes awkward that we were making and not doing it quite right, but we began to get that in play. The church board was ultimately the decider of what was to be done. Well, it's, uh, you know, it's growing on me more and more. It's very nice and very beautiful looking, and some things I'm not quite sure uh, the intent, but uh, overall it's a, it's a very nice improvement. Seats are comfortable, which I was concerned about at one point. What would be your final words on the project? I guess to people, and you told me that you're going to be about building um, in the near future, is to be very clear about why you're doing the project, what it is you're trying to do, and then how you're going to go about doing it. How you'll make your decisions, how you'll make the money, that whole communication package and you give updates to the members, you mail to them, you tell them, you encourage them, you let them be involved as best they can because everybody wants to do something. And that's where the lay leaders, this is their church. You can be the coach, they have to be the players. Remember, do you watch football? Yeah. Now this is American football, not the, football. Not the soccer, <laughs> the good kind. The coach's job is to stay where? On the, side. on the sideline. If the coach comes out and plays quarterback, he's no longer a coach. The pastor's job is not to get on the field and do the playing for the church. 
It's to help the church do the playing and build it for themselves. That makes a stronger church, a healthier pastor, and it glorifies the Lord.